Heart attack is usually caused by coronary artery disease. However, a less common cause can also be to blame, including a condition that nearly cost a local school teacher her life. 2822 Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller has more. I've had heartburn before, but never this severe. That so-called heartburn Kayla Waltaw first began experiencing last May was actually a serious warning sign. It would start at my back and then it would go to my chest and down my arm. The Scranton School District special education teacher and yoga instructor at the Salt Bar in Pittston seemed an unlikely person to suffer a heart attack. But it happened to her August 22nd when she was rushed to a hospital. The heart attack was caused by an emergency condition called spontaneous coronary artery dissection, or SCAD. She suffered a tear in the wall of a coronary artery, which supplied blood to her heart. Then they put the stents in, but then at that point, my heart was, I was still going into heart failure, very unstable. So they kind of had to make a decision. She got her vessels open, but now we were seeing the downstream effect of the heart failing quite rapidly. Waltoff was flown from Wilkesbury to Geisinger Danville, where she was placed on an ECMO machine. It does the work of the heart and lungs and allows patients a last best chance to recover. Just three days later. She was actually awake, interactive, and we actually noticed that her heart function was actually improving. Several weeks into Waltoff's healing, she began a 12-week cardiac rehab program to regain her health and her confidence. Doctors say they believe Waltoff will be able to resume most of her activities within a year. How amazing is that? Absolutely amazing, just given the extent of how sick she was when she presented, and she really you know, required all, all of the advanced treatments that we had to offer. Waltoff says her life-threatening ordeal has taught her a lesson, one which this teacher wants to share with everyone. Putting yourself first, learning to advocate for yourself, and uh, especially in these instances when you have health, any kind of symptoms, advocating for yourself, pushing for answers so people take you seriously. That was Mark Hiller reporting. Wolthoff will finish her cardiac rehab in January. It's also the month that she has an appointment with a SCAD specialist with the Mayo Clinic. It will help her learn more about her capabilities and even determine if it's safe for her to have children. Wolthoff hopes to be back to her yoga classes sometime in the spring.